Okay, I'm going to get out of all of this and go menu. So to do complex numbers on your Casio, go to run. I'll just clear that. Now go options and go complex. Then I can do three plus four I. That's my complex number I've got. Okay, so nothing. What's the absolute value of bracket 3 plus 4i? That gives us 5. The purple bit. 3, 4, 5 triangle. I made it nice numbers that way. Not such a nice angle. Though. What's the argument of 3 plus 4i? We have our calculator in radians. So it's 0.93 radians approximately. If I go shift setter and I was to change that to degrees and execute that again, it would be 53 degrees. That's otherwise found as inverse tan of opposite over adjacent, so it would be 4 over 3. Okay, so we've done the argument. What's the conjugate? So let's go back to options, complex numbers. So we're going to go conjugate f4 of 3 plus 4i and we're going to get 3 minus 4i because that's the conjugate so that's sweet what's the going to the right we can do the real part of let's just cheat and go answer so the real part of answer the real part is the 3 part and we can go imaginary part of our 3 I, so the imaginary, oops, delete, 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 imaginary part of 3 plus 4, go across, get the I, it's the imaginary part is 4, so there's 4 lots of I, that is fine. Now we've got R sus theta, so let's go back to our 3 plus 4 I, execute, and let's just push convert that to R sus theta. Take my answer, put it to R sus theta. We've got instantly the 5 and the 53.13. Now let's take that answer and convert it to A plus IB. Back to the beginning. So there's your lesson on doing complex numbers on your Casio calculator. You can download the manual which is available online and I found it there and that's where I just double checked a couple of things. Um, awesome, done in three minutes.